like Princess Diana. I'm thick cause I beat in oats. Bitch, not taking shit from me, but no. Well, hey there, guys. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to another weekly vlog. If you are new here, welcome to my channel. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and the like button and turn on those post notifications. Today is a new week. It is Monday, February 6th. And yeah, we're starting our week. And let me just say, I am having a very rough morning. Not going as I planned. I woke up. So I had every intention on waking up this morning, having my coffee, um, writing down my intentions for the week, my affirmations. Um, doing some work before I start my day and the dog my boyfriend's dog woke up out of nowhere at like 6 a.m. howling like a wolf like he was in pain or he heard something like howling loud and it jumped like I jumped up out my sleep and my heart was racing because the dogs were sleep downstairs so I'm thinking somebody's down there, he's hurting, whatever. So my boyfriend and I both jump out the bed, run down there. Nothing was wrong with him. I don't know what, if he had a bad dream. Do dogs have bad dreams? I don't know. But he was just howling. So I'm a very light sleeper. I hear everything. And I also, like, if I'm waking up out of my sleep, it takes me a long time to go back to sleep. So he woke me up at 6 a.m. And I could not fall back to sleep till like 8.30 a.m. And my eyes just feel like dry and heavy. That's why I have these sunglasses on. And I, my plan was to get up at 10. Um, could you go like for real? I hate people do this. I really hate when people do this. Like, this is crazy. I had every intention on getting up at like 10 a.m., getting my stuff done because I finally have my lash appointment, y'all, at 12.30. I feel like I haven't got my lashes done forever. I don't, I think it's been, shit, we went to Cancun February 13th. It was like a week before then, so almost a month ago since I've last gotten them done, which is the longest I've gone in a long time. I usually go every two, two, three weeks to get my lashes refilled and they looking crazy. So I ended up falling back to sleep at like 8.30 for like an hour. Woke up again because of the dog. He like came upstairs, pushed the door open. So I just have been up and I was just sitting in the bed scrolling on my phone scrolling on social media which is not how I wanted to start my day so now I just woke up and I got up at like 11 30 and threw on this outfit or whatever head out the door I haven't had coffee I haven't had breakfast I haven't set my intentions so yeah it's one of those days I just want to go to sleep when I get my lashes done. I don't even feel like talking. It's just not a good day. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not going to let that ruin my day. But I am tired. Like, I'm dragging. And that's the worst feeling for me. Is to feel like I'm dragging. to get my lashes done depending on how I feel I might go get a wax today but I'm tired so I need 
need to get my my coffee in my system before I can start moving along. Y'all guess what? India is running late, so guess what that means? I get to get my Starbucks earlier than I thought. That makes me happy because, baby, this attitude <clears throat> was going to be off the chain today for no reason. So, now yeah, I'm grabbing Starbucks. <sighs> it don't make no sense to be yawning like this at 12.30 in the afternoon. And now I get to get my order and have some energy before my last appointment. Thank you, Mr. Hi, I have a mobile order for Shalise. Oh, just a moment. I'm going to check really quick. Okay. Gotcha. Oh, you may come around. Okay, thank you. No problem. I need to wash my hair today. It is so greasy. I still have my tape ins in. I've had them in for a long time. Let me see. I got them put in. Damn, I got them put in in January. I got my hair done. I got my tapings put in January 17th. So, it's almost been two months. That's insane. I didn't realize how long it had been. I'm gonna wash them one more time and see how they look. I feel like it's time for me to get them <laughs> removed. I usually just keep them in for a month. I didn't realize how much time had passed. So, shout out to my girl, Aya. She's doing her thing. Hi, Shalise. Just a second. Okay. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
like you really can't notice but like I said with styles like braids it would be super obvious so now that I got those removed I think I want to get some braids because I want to get my hair a break from heat and I feel like it's getting warm so it's time I'm still debating between getting these tapings reinstalled or like one more time for a month or two and then getting braids or just getting braids next. What y'all think I should do? Get braids or get my tapings reinstalled. Little Miss Late. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Your hair is so cute. But I'ma still show up. I saw you doing something with Dream this morning. Were you taking her to school? Mm. We back in action, y'all. I'm so happy. It's so crazy how much lashes and getting your hair done make you feel like a new bitch like what don't talk to me and facetime my boyfriend it's hot outside Ooh, lashes. back in action don't play with me how you feeling babe i know you're tired as hell i am but i'm so happy i got my lashes up like i look like myself again now I just need to get my hair done and I'm gonna be that bitch. You got a for your hair? No, I don't know if I wanna get these tapings taken out and redone or if I wanna get braids. I I don't know which one I wanna do. Ooh, braids, I ain't gonna know that sound. You think I should get braids? I say get braids now. Uh, I haven't seen them braids in person, you know. I'm gonna have to find some that I like. Um, I'm gonna have to, first I gotta book appointment to get these tapes taken out. Then I gotta book an actual hair braiding appointment. Oh, my camera's about to die. I'll talk to y'all when I get back to the house. My eyes are burning a little. Hey y'all, I am back home and I'm about to cook. I, after my lashes, I just came home and was chilling on my laptop. I tried to take a nap because I was exhausted, but I ended up taking the dogs on a walk. And now I'm about to make this lasagna soup that I saw on Instagram. Well, I, I've been seeing a lot of people post it on TikTok but this chef i use a couple of his recipes his instagram is chef quiche i think oh yeah because his name is Keyshawn. chef Keyshawn. his instagram is chef key chef quiche and he posted this video the series we got lasagna soup i've seen this all over the internet so i need to try it myself start by dicing half a sweet onion then six cloves i'm gonna make that Hopefully it doesn't take too long. I got all of my ingredients over here. Just wash my tapings for the last time. I just booked my appointment to get them taken out on Friday. My boyfriend said he wants me to go with the braids. So I'm going to um, probably book that appointment tomorrow. So I will get my tapings taken out on Friday and then whatever soon is, whatever the most closest time is to get an appointment for braids i will what's good is the lady the girl who does my tapings also does braids that's actually how i met her she used to always do my braids and then she started doing tapings and i trust her because she um you know she is an actual cosmetologist she went to cosmetology school so she knows how to take care of my hair she trims my hair and everything so 
I've been getting tape-ins from her most recently, but now I think I'm going to go back to my braids. So I'm gonna book that appointment tomorrow probably and just press my hair out one more time until Friday. I'm just letting it air dry, trying to not put so much heat on it. But whenever I cook, I always dice and chop up my vegetables first. So that way I can just cook straight through. I don't have to stop and do any measurements or cut anything. I can just get straight to cooking. I don't know if that's normal, but that's just what I do. Here's some. Hey Siri, play Cuff It Wetter Remix by Beyonce. Now playing Papa Twitter remix by Beyonce. I don't know if anybody else feels like me. I feel like I can't cook unless I'm drinking water. And I don't know if that's like a problem, but that's just what it is. <gasps> now I just dropped the whole onion. I hope this turned out because I hate cooking stuff for the first time and then like. So I have all of my stuff ready to go, onions, garlic, ricotta cheese, basil leaves, all the seasonings measured out, the tomato paste, um, crushed tomatoes, heavy cream, and my chicken stock. This is what I meant by I like to have everything measured out already so I can just cook without having to stop for measurements. I typically only do this when I'm following a recipe by the book, obviously. If I'm cooking something that I've made before, I just kind of eye it, but yeah. I have to put my hair to get on my face. Me in. Y'all look what he just brought me back from the gas station. These right here give me a nostalgia. This is a childhood memory. A hot pickle with hot flamings, baby. You could take the hood out the girl. I mean, you could take the girl out the hood, but you can't take the hood out the girl. I will be eating this tonight for a snack. Y'all, this is so ghetto, but my boyfriend does not have bowls. <laughs> so this is the final look at the lasagna pasta, I mean lasagna soup. These are the only bowls that he has and they were too small. So I had to put them in a Tupperware container, but y'all get it. Look in the camera. 
Okay. They're clear, but then they have the dark frame. They do. What does it? These. Yeah. Oh, these are super cute. Yeah. I like those a lot. Disappear. Yeah. She moved out of state and she's doing left. She's seeking forgiveness. She used to dance, but she went alone and start up a business. Sunglasses all the time. Why? Exclusive? You're not. I need to. You have something against Harry Potter. It's just so. Hey y'all, I know I haven't been talking much today. I'm with my mom. She picked me up this morning. Oh shit. Hello, you have a prepaid call from and all calls other than properly placed attorney calls may be monitored and recorded. Thank you for using IC Solutions. You may begin speaking now. Hello. Hello. Yeah, what's up, guys? Smoothie do what it do. You on the um, you on my YouTube channel right now. I'm recording, so if you got something you want to say to the people, now is your time. Oh uh, no, uh, no, nah, I'm getting the fuck up out here. You know <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, you just car because she picked me up this morning. She wanted me to run some errands with her, help her pick out her glasses. So we picked her out some new sunglasses and also seeing glasses and then she had to get her nails done I already like just got my nails done a few days ago so I dropped her off at the nail shop and I'm about to head to my wax appointment now it's at 2 so I'm about to head there and just wait for her to get done with her nails and then we have Pilates tonight at 5 When I tell y'all it is so hot outside, like I'm literally about to unzip this and I have on a sports bra, but it's hot. It says it's 81 degrees and I have on a sweatsuit. Like, wow, what are you thinking, ma'am? I just finished getting my wax. I'm kind of hungry, but I feel like my mom is going to be mad if I go get food without her. Per usual. Like, this is crazy. How hot it is. Like, I'm gonna take this jacket off for a minute, okay? Honey. I kind of like my hair like this. Which is crazy because the whole time I've had my tape ends, I've been wearing them straight. As y'all can see, but... I washed them last night like and just let it air dry and I kind of like this like messy wavy look that I got going on like it's giving effortless it's giving effortless it's giving the girls very much messy hair I don't care 
to get her order, go get some food, and wait for her to get done with her nails, and then see what we're about to do. Our solid core class doesn't start until 5.15, so. I don't know why. I need to get some ashwag ashwagandha gummies. I've been noticing myself being a little irritable more than normal lately, and I don't like that. So I need to look into that, because I heard that that helps with being irritable. Usually I'm only like that like it's only bad around my menstrual cycle but i'm nowhere near that so i don't know what's going on and i got a good amount of sleep so need to figure that out so i don't like having a bad attitude it's not my vibe i'm trying to get a cute little video for my g I didn't do anything to it. It's just messy from how I slept. I ain't look, so, I ain't look so good today. <laughs> wow. Okay. I don't look good every day. Every day, but today is just. Oh, isn't she? Yeah. Yeah, she. It's because she like the sunshine loves you. Yes, I agree, hundred <laughs> percent. What you said, babe? I said I agree. The sunshine you know, loves you. Baby. <laughs> When I tell y'all I just tore that sandwich up, I was starving. That little banana bread from Starbucks ain't do none. I just tore up that sandwich. And now I'm just chilling, waiting for my mom to come out of this nail shop. And I don't know what we're about to do till we go to Pilates, but my fish. Yeah, I'm a sunglasses whore. I have at least five pairs of sunglasses in my purse right now. And my mom has one on. I just be needing sunglasses. My eyes are super light sensitive. In the hood, I'm like Princess Diana. I'm thick cause I beat in oats. Bitch, not taking shit from me, but no. Oh my god, my skin is so dry. Oh, so I never told y'all. Oh my god. So I never had to tell y'all when we got back from Cancun. Tell me why. So the first day, the day we were leaving Cancun, like my eye, my right eye was a little like puffy and swollen. And I'm like, what the hell's going on? Maybe I slept on it wrong. So we get back and I woke up the next day and like both of my eyes were swollen and for the like consecutive like every consecutive day my face was getting more swollen and more swollen and I'm like what the fuck is going on I don't know if it's from the sunburn am I having a reaction to something because I've laid out and tanned multiple times in my life like I've never had is issues I'm gonna show y'all what my face look like oh my god it's so embarrassing. Y'all better not screenshot this because baby, baby, I looked crazy. Like my nose was extra fat and wide. My boyfriend told me I looked like a teenage ninja turtle, teenage mutant ninja turtle. But come to find out, I did my research. I had talked to my nurse, my friend Allie, she's an RN, so I had talked to her and after thorough research, I found out that my birth control pills, I guess, were making my skin, that's the only thing I can find that was similar to me, was making my skin super sensitive. So the birth control that I took and not having on SPF that day when I laid out and got burned in Cancun, it made my face swell up like a watermelon. This. I don't even want to show y'all what I look like. Look at my face. <gasps> that was the 18th. We got back from Cancun on February 16th. So that was two days after we had got back. Then this was the 19th. It kept getting worse. Like look how fat my nose is. And then I don't have eyelids. Y'all, I looked crazy. 
I would not leave the house. Like, look at me from the side. This don't even fucking look like me. Look at this. Like, what? I was pissed. I was so scared. Like, I thought my face was going to be stuck like that. You kind of tell right here, like, my eyelids were swollen. Child. So, basically, I was, like, trying everything. I took Benadryl because I thought I was having an allergic reaction. I was icing it. I was putting um, aloe on my face. Come to find out, it was just took a week for it to go down. Nothing that I was, like, icing, Benadryl, nothing I was doing was helping so basically for seven days i went outside one time and i had went to pilates but i like felt i felt like people were looking at me like i looked crazy but yeah it was scary so it obviously ended up going down it literally took like a full seven or eight days for my face to slowly get back to normal but i thought that my face was about to be stuck like that oh I was terrified. It was so depressing. Like, I did not want to leave the house to go anywhere. I couldn't film for YouTube. I couldn't, like, do anything. So, I was just stuck. And it was bothering me for the longest because, like, who want to walk around looking like that? So, heads up. If you are on birth control, I take the pill. Make sure if you go out into the sun, you are not out there for long periods of time. And if you are make sure you have on spf because i had a whole allergic reaction to the sun basically which is crazy like i've always laid out in the sun and i get burned because of how light i am but then it just turns into a 10 and i still did get a nice 10 but that was crazy i didn't even get to tell y'all that the like once my face finally had cleared that's when i filmed the oxtail pasta video and that was like my first time getting back on camera but before that honey you wouldn't get nothing out of me. So that that um, sunburn in that Cancun vlog that y'all saw turned into me looking like an Oompa Loompa. Dead ass. Like 10 out of 10 do not fucking recommend. And yeah, it's super important to wear SPF every single day. Even if you're not going to be in the sun, even at night, I always have SPF on. That's what's going to keep you from looking like aging wrinkles and it just makes your skin look better so make sure you have a good spf in your skincare routine every single day the one time i didn't wear it like an idiot i'm like oh you know it's only gonna be a couple hours i just want my face to get tan and match my body no you look dumb and that's what you get that's my story time for today gonna wait for her figure out what we're going to do and yeah so i'll see y'all later pilates <laughs> ah. <laughs> we just took some pre-workout powder last time i took a half a scoop and it did not do anything so we gonna see if the whole scoop does something I never take free workout. Hey guys, I'm back from Pilates. and got a salad after. I get my tape pins out tomorrow. So, that's exciting. Been a long time coming. Okay, y'all, I'll talk to y'all tomorrow. At this point, I'm just babbling, rambling. Why you look at me like that? <laughs> <laughs> no yeah. I quit. Yeah, he got a juicy booty. Watch, I bro. Hey, man.
Turn the camera off. That ain't going in the vlog. Girl, I get the money, we we'll see me to my know. If you love me, I feel like I'm making you mad. Not only you give me love, but make me nice, so nice, so nice, so I feel make you mine. Now I love you, plus I never make you mine. If I let you smoke, it's you gon' lose my light. Huh? If you bear with nothing, I'ma spend the night. Yeah, you can get out of me every day. Time I dance with you, my money I go pay. What's up, y'all? Today's Thursday. I'm headed to lunch with my mom and my friend Paris. My mom owns a, um, a couple companies. She's a real estate development guru. Um, but yeah, she owns two real estate development firms and she recently hired my friend Paris to work under her so as her assistant and I'm gonna go meet with them from my laptop so I can get some work done I have been working with several companies negotiating terms to get collabs um, for collabs, sending them my media kit and my price list so I can start shooting content for them late. I was supposed to be there. I'm gonna get that. 
there at 1.30 and I was supposed to be there at 1 o'clock. This is a vlog, okay. <laughs> Come on. Cheers. The tape ends are out. I am back. Ball head. Y'all look at my little cuts. Feels good to run my fingers through my scalp though, child. Let's go home, get some work done, and figure out what I'm about to do tonight. It's Friday. This week went by so fast. Okay, y'all. So this is what my hair looks like after a trim and she took my tape ends out. And like I said, I had cut it to like right here. Um, I cut it to like right here in February of last year. So it's been like exactly a year and it's grown like a few inches I'll insert a picture here so y'all can actually see but yeah wow. I don't think y'all ever been in my apartment before not y'all never been inside like y'all are actually here but I don't think I ever vlogged in here my apartment is literally like an Airbnb at this point because I'm never here so I just stopped here to get some work done and to water my plants and get some more clothes like but yeah I'm exhausted my eyes burn from staring at my computer for hours I'm about to go back to my boyfriend's house and chill it's Friday night and I wish I could tell y'all I had the energy to go outside and do something, but I don't. So maybe tomorrow. I know we're supposed to be going to see Creed on Sunday and having a little date night. But yeah, that's all I got for y'all folks. Hello boys, about to play a little game of pool. 
Now last time we was up here, I ain't gonna put nobody on the spot, but I whooped his ass. Well, we never come up here because I'm not sure why. Hey, I ate his ass up, so. So what we bet, y'all? We gonna see. Who y'all going in for the kill?